Welcome back to Say Hi to Hybrid Teaching. This is Session 3 Content Help, Video 1, Simulated Classroom Example. What we will cover in this short video is we will present a short hybrid classroom experience that helps you understand how you could set up and run your hybrid classrooms. This video will include preparing digital and physical bell ringers that we will use for digital attendance records, recording the meeting, using the meeting reminder feature for digital students, answering face-to-face -face and digital questions, assisting students with digital problems, and ending the meeting and saving the poll results for use as attendance. Okay, so it's time for me to start my classroom for the day. First things first, before any students come in, I'm going to start my meeting and get it ready to go. My meeting, my class is good to go, start meeting. Great. Welcome to my classroom. My board is behind me. I know that my room is now locked, which means my students cannot come in unless I admit them, which is fine because that way, if one of my students becomes a problem, I can actually kick them out, at least until let them cool down and then we can talk about it. So now what I wanna do is set up my room. So I need to go up here to panels. I'm going to add manage panels. I'm going to add polling and my multimedia viewer. Click okay. Because my polling is gonna be my, um, I'm going to use my polling for my attendance today. I'm going to use a set of polls that I already created uh, for bell work. I'm gonna hit open. Now I've got bell question one answers and then why the uh, short answer for them to select my options. I can select, select how long my poll is going to last. And usually five minutes sounds good, but I'm going to shorten it to just two for now. Okay. All right. Now let's say my class is set up. I'm ready to go. I've got chat open. I've got my class. I've got multimedia. I'm going to share multimedia in here as well. Let's say today I'm going to go over this particular video. Now my students have access to that video in their multimedia viewer. Introducing they can take Verizon that and break Beezer. it out if they need to. Wait for this to go through. Okay. So this is actually my content that I've already created. So this is going to be the primary method uh, that the kids are going to learn from. They're going to use this video to work and then I'm going to be available to help them. Okay, while we're at it, let's go ahead and start our recording so we can click down here click record and it begins our recording so that when we finish we'll be able to make sure that works we can also close this window and it will continue recording it doesn't have to stay in the way all right so let's get class started the bells ring in come on in croom students hello definitely high school croom student how are you today Great. excellent as you can see your bell work is on the board go ahead and get started on that thanks I'm going to get attendance while you work on that. Uh-oh, it looks like one of my hybrid students didn't show up today. So I'm going to send them a quick reminder. I go to participant, invite and remind. I'm going to send that reminder and it sends an email for that student to show up. Now, hopefully they'll get that email and they'll show up in my class. Oh, look at that. Croom student is waiting in the lobby, ready for me to admit. All right, I'm going to admit my Croom student now. Here they come. Hello, Croom student who is definitely in high school. How are you today? Good. Excellent. I'm going to open the poll today so that you can get your bell work done and that's how i'm going to take your attendance okay just like normal okay sounds good all right so to open poll i'm going to click open poll and now she's going to do her polls and i'm going to use that as my attendance i would teach the students that if they come in late they would need to just put their name in the chat and i'll show you how to pull the chat later let's say i'm helping uh, one of my local students i'm going to flip the microphone up so that not as loud. I could always come over here and mute myself. Hello, Kroom student. Are you having trouble? Yes, of course you are. Let me help you with your trouble. 
Beep boop. Boop beep. Up. Oh, I heard a sound that said one of my hybrid students needs help. Hello, hybrid student. How can I help you? Hello, Mr. Donnan. I am your high school student and I have a question that vexes me. I have forgotten how to create a cube. I am forlorn and perplexed. Oh my, how could you have forgotten that? But that's okay. This is a safe place. So, how about you share your screen? Look at that. She shared her screen. And now I'm going to say, okay, Kroom student, let me help you. Do you remember where the box type is? No? Oh, well, I, you sure don't. So I'm going to ask to control your machine. Will you let me control your computer? Yes. Excellent. Now I can move her cursor around and show her. So see, I can now create a cylinder for her, which is not a box, <laughs> but it's close enough. Good Thank job. Thank you, Mr. Donnan. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I can take control back from her screen by sharing my own content. So I can go back to my WebEx, share my content. And now we can watch this video together. It's very loud, sort of, uh, but you get the idea. That we need to... That's basically how a hybrid class is going to work. The students will continue working in the class as well as online and we'll be able to manage all of them now that the class is over i'm going to close then end this meeting and we can save the meeting files including the poll results the poll questions and the poll results but really i don't need the questions because i already have them all i need is the poll results and i'm going to end the meeting once again we know that everything is saved in the cloud, so we'll be able to go get that recording and upload it to eCampus so that any students who miss the day will be able to get that video tomorrow. Thanks for watching our simulated classroom experience. I hope that these videos have been helpful in preparing you for your hybrid teaching experience. This will be a living playlist, so I will add videos as I have time and as the need arises. If you have anything you'd like to see in particular, just leave it in the comments. Thanks again and have a great year.